What's up everyone? We're doing our third case of National Treasures Baseball. This is the 2016 edition. The team list is right over here. Where everyone is purchasing their spots is always right there. And this is case C. We labeled it at the beginning of the day. This is the TYT number three. It was one of our pre-sale cases. Thanks for joining. Okay, let's open up this case. I just want to announce that the, the actually you want to do all the announcements? Yeah, all right. you're the announcer. The Why main bounty for our cases are, is the Babe Ruth cut, which is in here. That is the bounty. If the bounty gets pulled before the second, someone is going to the Super Bowl, someone's getting $4,000 worth of cards. Okay, that's number one. Number two, any bat knob in any of our cases today only, any bat knob, $50 will go randomized to the break. Anyone that took a spot will have a chance at $50 for any bat knob. That also includes any one of one. Any true non plate one of one, someone else will be getting $50 in break credit randomized off to the room. There's more. Okay? There's more. There's always more. <laughs> There's more. What, what else is there? Two teams that go hitless in this break have a chance to win teams in the next one. Yeah, we'll do bat battle or bat knob is fifty dollars group break. Okay, one of those two is Sure Mika. Yes. That's what I think I meant. Mika, do you want Mika Aces for this one as well or you want to leave it as Mika? It's up to you, Mika. You let us know. But in the meantime, yes, Scott's right. Two teams that go hitless in this break will be put into PYT number four at random in this break. We're doing so many special things here. Mika's got Mika Aces. It worked out for him last time. Yeah, I got a nice flatty. Mika's got the Nationals. I want to just say good luck to everyone in the break. Good luck to everyone in this break. Our first two cases have been incredible. They are uploaded on YouTube, guys. If you want to check it out, please do. This is PYT number three of Panini's National Treasure. Slice and dice just want to say it again. I want to give a shout out to Panini itself on doing another phenomenal job with another great product. They really did. They, the, the cards in this stuff are, is incredible. The bats, the jerseys, the patch autograph cards. Panini crushed it. A nice mix of legends. They really did. And superstars. Too. Yeah. There's, there's, you, you got your old time legends. We pulled a ton of good legends. We pulled a lot of good young guys. Everything. Good luck to everyone in the break. Good luck to all you guys. Here we go. Good luck to all you guys and girls out there. Good luck. PYT number three. Here we go. Good luck. All right, we're going to start off this break with a Todd Helton jersey card, 27 of 99. I guess they didn't make any base cards. I haven't seen a base card yet. That's when you know this product is good, when it's it's all just hits. There's no base cards. And a Sun Juan O jersey card for the St. Louis Cardinals. The, uh, guys, you might have to help me with with my baseball, but the, the, the title of this card says great. Is this, this isn't Honus Wagner, is it? I'm not, I'm not even sure who it is. Who's the greatest shortstop? Turn that over. Am I right? It, it, bottom corner is a little. It is. I'm right. Wow. It's the Honus Wagner wow. and the Pittsburgh Pirates bat piece. Number How good am I? 15. Banksy. Banksy. Wow. How did I know that? How did I know that? The and greatest shortstop ever. A rookie material signature is of Elias Diaz. I'm not oh. sure the name. I'm not sure the team on this one. But Banksy Honus that. Wagner. Wow, what a hit. Someone... With that. But this is an unbelievable pass. One of the best catchers in baseball. St. Louis Cardinals home slice himself. It's a 5 of 5. Yachty. Look at that patch. Yachty. Banksy, today is your day, my man. Banksy, I'm very happy that today is your day, Banksy. Because you're... It's funny. The last time... The last case we got this guy, but it was for Cleveland. This time it's for Banksy in San Francisco. Oh, wow. This is a huge card. This guy has so many collectors. This is a notable nickname. So you didn't describe it. Banksy, but congratulations. It's your day. It's Omar Fiscal. Wow. I know this guy's big collector. On card autograph for the Giants. I said Banksy. 
Diaz is Pirates. Thanks. Banksy, congratulations. It is your day. You're winning fillers. You're winning cards. And then we have an autographed jersey card of Kyle Waldrop, number 94 of 99. That's for the Reds. The Cincinnati Reds, Mr. Socks and Gators. Josh, that is going to you, pal. This next hit, it's a colossal autographed jersey of Steven Souza. And that's number 31 of 99, and that's for... And that's for, again, it's called... Tampa Bay Rays. And that card has been given to Banksy for free. For free. Because that's what we do. We give away free spots in here. I'm sorry. There's a ton of you guys that can't see what's going and on we here. We have a Jose Barrios dual oh jersey jersey, one of 99. For the Minnesota Twins. Home Slice, you're going to take the Cardinals in every single break that we do, pal. You are killing it today with the Cardinals. No, unfortunately, someone else took them. I'm sorry, but 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 Home Slice, yeah, you're going to kill it. Oh, God. Is that have a beautiful... Oh, my God. color patch autograph of Stephen Piscotti, 31 of 99. And Sox... Josh! Josh, congratulations. Welcome to the room, Josh. Josh, welcome to the room. I'm giving you music. You're getting a Johnny Bench number 405. Four or five. And it's, it's a nice jumbo jersey card of one of the greatest short catchers of all time. Oh my god. Sorry about that home slice. We'll have a few more later in the store. Uh, that's box number one. You're going to have to get your teams fast, I'm telling you. You're going to have to get your teams fast because they are moving quickly. These cases are loaded. Josh, you're congr no problem. We love getting you guys big hits. We love it. Right, welcome to the room. We got a box number two. Andrew McCutcheon, 99 99 jersey card. Are they going to trade this guy? That's I mean, a rumor. How good is this? Do you know what we did in the first? I didn't. We got a Honus Wagner. We got a Piscotti jersey yeah, autograph. Number five, we got a Johnny nine. Bench number to five in a box. And then we have a, a Jonathan Scoop. This would be great. 99 for the Orioles. This would be great for a case. It's for a box. We have, th we have three boxes left. I love this stuff. We have a nice Stan Musial bat piece. 9 of 25 for the St. Louis Cardinals. RIP. He died recently. Home Slice, you are destroying it. Another hit for you, pal. Congratulations. And another redemption for arguably the best breaker on breakers. It's a, a, it's a Max Kepler rookie material signatures. For, oh, this, for, the, for the Minnesota Twins. This next card. Muzzy. My man, Muzzy! <laughs> and then, oh! Rose a Witt Merrifield patch autograph. This one's number two of five. Oh my god. For the Kansas City Royals. Armando, your $12 paid off, pal. In that filler, Armando. Look, can I, can I give that some music? Uh, Armando, your $12 filled. This is our first one of the. You're getting a baseball. Of Dennis Eckersley. Oh my god. 36 of 60. I don't know. I don't know what. Muzzy. Muzzy. <laughs> Lee, congratulations. Armando, nice hit, man. It's and the first we've seen. I love this player. It's for the Chicago White Sox. It's a patch bat jersey. Oh, of God. The Todd Father. Nine of ten for the Chicago White Sox. Wow. Beautiful. I love and that is I going love to. The Todd Father. Let's go to Picker. And then we have an autograph of Jose Conseco oh, for the Toronto Blue Jays. Can I give music for the last one? The numbering, though, is, it's, it's, it's the player's music where the number too high. Guys, this, uh, JW, this last one's music, but it's, it's, it's the player, I guess. It's a Chris Bryant. Yeah, it's a Chris Bryant. Yeah, it's fine. It's a Chris Bryant. jersey piece for the Chicago Cubs. Nice hit. And that's it box two. That's the halfway point. Yeah, I'm sorry. It wasn't as. I got excited about the booklet. It's all good. If it was like a number to five patch, you know. These boxes have been incredible, guys. Incre these cases have been on. Un... Ooh, a Steven Strasburg patch for the Nationals to start. That's the first patch on the top. Mika Aces, congratulations on your first hit of this case, Mika. It's a. We'll show it again. It's a Steven Strasburg three color patch, 16 to 25. Oh my God! This doesn't stop. Home slice is that for home slice again? Yep. It's a, Piscotti is flying out of these cases. Home slice. St. Patrick's Day, twenty-five of ninety-nine for the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, I don't know the name. Stephen Piscotti. I don't know the name. And this next guy is going. You're looking for Trey Turner. 
This guy's a young star. It's his second year in the league. It's no, gonna, he was rookie of the year last year. No, it's going to be his second year. Yeah. Cool. Jumbo patch of Corey Seager, 25 of 25 for that Los Angeles Dodgers. There's the Dodgers. Is that what we're looking for? Beautiful patch. Uh, no, I think I think Mika will take this next card. Mika Aces, your your new name with us is Mika Aces because you're getting this. And Lucas Giolito patch autograph, 19 of 25. You'll take that, Mika. Mika, look at that patch, pal. Look at that patch. And another, we're talking about another beautiful patch here. It's a jumbo patch autograph of Dariel Alvarez, 24 of 25. And that's going right to my main man, Picker. For the Baltimore Orioles. Another beautiful patch on that one. This stuff is unbelievable. And then we have an autograph card of Carlos Gomez, number 32 of 99. Should be for the, oh, it's for the Texas Rangers. Carlos Gomez. And that's also going to Picker. And then we have a USA autograph. This guy was a stud until he had injury problems. It's a made in USA. It's a Mark Pryor, 98 of 99 for oh. the Chicago Cubs. Oh, my God. I, 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 I have great moments as a kid with this. This is the greatest closer of all time. This is the greatest closer literally, of all time. Literally. literally. Literally the greatest... And he has the, one of the best signatures of all time. It's a Mariano Rivera for the New York Yankees, 8 of 10. Beautiful signature. Scott's right. Look at that signature. Look how clean that signature is. Then we have a booklet of... Greatest the, closer to ever play the game. And we have a booklet of one of the young stars in our game, 27 of 49. We're a little biased because we're Yankee fans, but I'm telling that you... piece of Carlos Correa. No one can tell us otherwise that he's not the best closer of all time. It's just not possible. Yeah, that Mo is fire. I agree, Josh. Yeah, I'm a big Yankee fan. I mean, Mo, Mo is, he's hands down the greatest closer. Yeah, that, that's like not, not an argument. You know, if there's certain things people argue about, but you can't argue that. All right, this is box number four. Good luck. If you don't get a hit, you have a chance at a team in the next one. We're going to start off with a Gary Carter bat piece, 80 of 99 for the Mets. There you go, Armando. You got yourself a Mets hit as well. And then we have a jumbo jersey of Jared's, one of Jared's favorite players, Josh oh. Donaldson, number 14 of 25. Is Devious still with us? Nice hit, Sebastian. Devious. Devious. You yeah. ask for Ken Griffey Jr., and that's what you will receive. And this is a very beautiful, it's a, look at that patch of Ken Griffey, 2 of 10 for the Mariners. Oh, my God. Wow. Devious is a big Mariners fan. Congratulations. Devious, congratulations. Ken okay. Griffey Jr., one of the greatest baseball players of all time. And then we have an autographed jersey of Greg Bird, 23 of 99 for the New York Yankees. And that is also going to Picker. And then we have a six-piece autograph. I love these cards. Of Brian Johnson for... The Boston Red Sox, 51 of 99. He might, he's, he's either 51 or 61. It looks like 61. I love these cards. I love these cards. Great hit, Devious. Picker, that's going to you. I love these cards. And then we have a dual jersey jersey of Yoan Lopez for the Arizona Diamondbacks. That's number 25 of 99. And that's going to... Uh... That is going to my main man, Walt, Mr. Nine. Don't call 911. We're going to call 741. Oh, my God, we have a cut. We have a cut. I don't know. Who they, we have a cut. I we have a, a cut? A cut, yeah. What are they numbered to? I don't, it can be anything. I don't know. Guys, we have a cut. We have a cut. Huh. It's a young Garbus Solarte autograph silhouette for the Yankees. Oh, my God. I'm 99. We have a cut. <laughs> <laughs> we have a cut! It's a souvenir cut of Gary Carter, 2 of 25. Wow! For the Montreal Expos, so that goes to the Washington Nationals. Mika! <laughs> Mika! You got a cut! And then we're going to end off this case. No! With Mika! A, with a booklet card. It's number 13 of 15 of Matt Carpenter. It's a bat piece. Wow. 13 of 15 for the Cardinals. Guys, this is silly how good these cases are. Uh, Let's coming on the random, so we're going to do the hit list in a second. So, congratulations. Wow. Another nice case. Another amazing. Mika, so congratulations on that cut. Let's roll into case four. Mika, I'm.
Mika, can you confirm I'm officially giving you, you have Mika Aces. That is your new name, Mika, in this room. I'm sorry. Your new name is not Mika, Micah. It's Mika Aces. What another case. Gonna figure out Hetless. Cubs. Wow. What a case. Cardinals. What a case. I'm gonna throw three more in there. Three more what? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a shout, yeah. What a case, Scott. I like doing baseball, it's fun. How could what? Dory, you got this booklet of Correa, Jumbo Bat piece of Correa. Next was begin the Nationals? Yeah. Look at the Warriors. Yeah, home slice. They became the Nationals. I'll show you the Gary Carter cut again. It says Montreal. Ryan, these cases have been... It says Montreal. Right, these cases have been unbelievable. And look, it says... Yeah, you can see it better there. It says Montreal. Absolutely. I can't, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my computer in a second once I figure out hit list. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Boston. I can't take it. Yankees. Griffey and Stain Patch. Seattle. Toronto got a few hits. Mets, Cubbies, what we have? Texas, Baltimore. If you're new to the room, we've done three cases of National Treasure. We're on case number four. If you go to the store and use the code BLEZ15, you get 15% off your first two purchases. Not teams purchases. You can buy as many teams as you want. This stuff has been incredible. Ask anyone in the room. This stuff has been incredible. We have PYT 4, 5, 6, and 7 in the store. All of it. It's all there and it's all going to go. All of it. Yeah, the, I'll show you again. Uh, Josh, I'll show you the book. Here, let me show you that book. We're up to it. It's a it's a little general. It's a little dirty jersey. Nice old school jersey. Thank you, Home Slice. Four or five. Home Slice, thank you. Home Slice is, is is being these cases have been incredible. Yeah, it's up there on that list. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm not, I'm not an expert on baseball, but, I mean, at least I knew that the greatest. I forgot which team was Elias Diaz. Was it the Pirates, someone said? I can't believe it. Home slice. Unreal. Unreal. Uh, home slice. I'm going to put up. Here's what I'll do. Since everyone wants the Cardinals. I can do I can do a random for the Cardinals and I'll keep them out of the store because I, I I really want Home Slice to get the Cardinals again because I know he collects them so maybe I'll, I'll do a random in the room for everyone that, that really wants the Cardinals because I know they go really really fast so I'll do that after Home Slice for for case eight I'll do that we'll do a random for the rights for the Cardinals I think I think that's fair. I, I want you to get the card notes. I, 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 I just can't believe how good this stuff. I mean, this stuff has been so, so good. There, this stuff has been so good. It really is. It's been so good. How does that sound about the random for the rights to buy the card notes in case eight? I'm, trying, I'm just trying to be fair. If, uh, if you guys don't think that's fair, I don't have to do it. So. Guys, we, 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 like a few people really we want the can't, Cardinals. We can't take teams out. It's first come, first serve. No, but some people are faster at the computer. I'm saying we could just random for the rights to buy them. If you want to do that, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just saying there's we certain be, teams. We want to be fair. I, I totally you guys. Fair. The people that are buying them. I'm just saying like there's certain teams that like. 
I'm just so excited right now. Yeah, after I do the hit list. I'm just so excited. Elias Diaz, though. I just, someone said, someone said the Pirates. Oh, they did? Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Josh, the Pirates, right? Sorry. Yeah, there it is. It. The I Pirates. I'm so glad that we can open up these great cases for for all of you. I really am. I mean, I there's nothing I like more than opening up cases and, and, and you and, and, and all of you just killing it and getting good hits. I love that. I love it. Braves, Tigers, Marlins. Yeah. Oh, the Astros got a hit. This stuff is just so, so good. I don't want to do a personal. <laughs> what is it? Angels, Brewers, Phillies, Potters. So only seven teams went hitless in that one. Seven teams? Yeah. So they're spreading the hits out nicely. All right, we're going to roll the dice. The top two win a team in the next one. Good luck, everyone. Nine times. These are the teams that went hitless. Good luck. This One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The Phillies and the Angels win teams in the next one. So it's Darren and Picker. The Phillies are still there. I'm going to give them the Phillies. He took the Phillies in the first three. Let me just take those out. Yep, the Indians got something. <clears throat> I think, uh, what was, Muzzy, Muzzy wants to know the Royals hit. Muzzy, I'll, Muzzy, I'll find it. It's, uh, he got a patch autograph. Muzzy, I will find it for you right now, my man. Yeah, it wasn't Indians. What do you get a patch? A patch autograph for the Royals. Mika wants to watch the store because he's so fast. You guys tell me, what do you guys want to do? Rock the store or over here? Lee. Lee, two of five, Lee. Two of five, Lee. There you go. Yes, th there it is, Lee. Congratulations on that hit. It's going to you, Lee. Muzzy. I love that name, Muzzy. No problem, Lee. Beautiful hit. Two of five. Beautiful patch. Low numbered. Beautiful card. You're giving away these two teams? The Marlins, the Darren M. I got to go. I'm going to. I'm gonna. You, 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 you can run the show for the world. I'll be back. Right, but then I can't add the stuff. All right, that's fine. Just, just do, do what you. I gotta step out for a minute. Where are you going? I'll, I'll text you. Tell Damon to come back. Come. Someone's at the door. Oh. Well, no way. Perfect timing. Perfect. <laughs> we just did. We just did. We've done. We've done three cases. Pick a door for attention. We've, we've done three cases of National Treasures. They've all been incredible. All of them. This, you're, Damien, you're going to love this product. I actually need to. Yeah, let's fill a random team break. You guys just want to do 50 50 for that? Let's see. She's not here. Let's see. Picker, you get the Rangers again for Hitless. Yep. Perfect timing. Huh? 
the Mets are off the board. Where you going? Go to Liberty. Get me a. I'll be on with you in a minute, Scott. Take your time. We're good. Uh, yeah, get me a Caesar salad, chicken Caesar wrap, and no tomatoes. They put tomatoes in it for some reason. No tomatoes. It's open, right? How many wrap do we have in PYT number four? Right. I have to update the sheet. Stop. This stuff's amazing. Let me just say goodbye to them for a little while. I'm going to step out for a minute. I'm going to be around later, but I just want to say congrats to everyone that, that with their big hits. I'll be back later. Damon is, is live with us. This was a lot of fun. I'll be back in a little while. There's 12 left in the next PYT. There's only 12 left? Yeah, it's 12, yeah. 12 teams left. 12 teams left in PYT number four. Wait, actually, I need to tell you, actually, I need to, I need to tell you some stuff, actually. Are you leaving? Yeah, you're doing yeah. food, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just go on for a few minutes while I talk to everybody. Okay. Was this was this a joke for, for me? Can the guys see the background of the <laughs> All right, 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 all right. What is up everybody? Good morning. Even though two two twenty in the afternoon is good morning for me. I want to say a quick hello to everybody. Jerry's apples, Banks, Banksy, my man Blue Mountain, Mr. J E T S, Jess 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 Koning. What's up, buddy? Cash Daddy, the devious one. J P P P P P Picks, Holmes Ice. What's up, J W? Super Mario Run Luigi. I call him Mika, Mr. Paradise, King of the Room. What's up, brother? Plumber, Randy's L.A. Donuts. What's up? Rich Cow. Round of Bases. What's up? Socks and Gators. Good morning. What's up, guys? Plumber, what's going on, buddy? Cash Daddy, you, you need some uh, UFC advice for tonight, huh? Uh, Ronda Rousey, Cash Daddy is probably your best bet because the line is small enough. Uh, I don't know what Dominic Cruz's line is, but I like him tonight too to defend his title. Um, those are pretty much the two big matches. Let me see. And Devious, yes, we are going to beat Scotty the manager out of a bunch of money tonight for sure. He's got no shot. We should probably bet him more. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to take a peek. I, I, I heard these cases are, are, are insane. I heard the uh, you guys already went through three and they were nuts. Which is, which is pretty great to hear. I'm going to have to watch the breaks. And Cash Daddy, we are ordering the fight. We are ordering. We, we will have the fight on tonight. For the fact that I have to laugh in the manager's face when I beat him for a couple hundred bucks because he thinks Amanda Nunez is going to beat Ronda Rousey. Um, and uh, plus, we're going to be breaking UFC Museum tonight, along with a bunch more cases of uh, NT baseball. So Sox Gators, yeah, I, that's a little weird. Um, I, I think breakers uh, would be a little, a little angry. I mean... We, we, yeah, we, we, we can't have it kind of screaming on the TV behind us and, and whatnot. I think that would be a problem. Um, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we can't stream the, the UFC. There, there's uh, loyalty infringements and all types of crap, so, we, so we, can't, we can't do that. But we'll have it on in the background. Um, I see Sex in the City is on in the background behind me. I think that's a joke aimed at me. Uh, So why don't you guys tell me what were, what, what were the huge what were the huge hits in the in in baseball right off? 
Let me. I, I want to hear from you guys. What do you want to eat? What do you want? Uh, there, uh, the, the salmon. Okay. And uh, ooh, ooh, the the the, the tomato stack. What is that? Tomato stack. The appetizer, tomato stack. Thank you. I heard the I heard the first three cases were literally off the chain. You got a Griff Dog patch, number to ten. What is it? Who's ever? Wow, Mark Griffey's not gonna be happy about that one. Well, Griffey boy. <laughs> oh yeah, Griffey. Yeah, <laughs> we have two Griffeys in the in the family. I'm gonna update the sheet, but PYT number four is gonna be the next break. We update the sheet, upload the videos. Anyone want a team? We can do some fillers soon. Cheap fillers, expensive fillers. I think the Yankees are still there. Did they? It's not surprising. Yeah. And just to go back to that so socks and gators, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing. If if like a bar, I think, is showing a UFC pay per view in, in their bar, I'm pretty sure that they have to pay a, like a very high specific fee to be able to do that and show it to the public. So it's it's got to be the same thing with. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with us. So I, we'll have it on in the background. We do have the good cases. That's that's true. But well, we always have the good cases. Our throne as the Brewers that's and the Braves. Job. Yeah, uh, our cases have been insane. Oh yeah, Cash Daddy. Like, yeah, we'll we'll have it on the background. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be on in the background. Sure. You, you may be able to see it. You may not be able to see it. We just can't like blatantly show it. You know, we can't like blatantly stream it because not only will UFC have uh, you know a problem with it, but the, the Breakers TV will have a problem with it too. Yeah, it's a copyright issue. Well, no, it's we. You know, we're not paying them licensing fees to do yeah. it. So, Banksy has the Reds in five and the. The San Diego Padres. Four and then Banksy. So d d don't, don't worry, you'll Cash Daddy, Sox Gators, who you know, all, all of my guys that that like UFC, it will be on in the background. We'll be going through it at you know as it happens, and uh, and we'll be breaking cases of UFC museum. Um, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, Banksy has the Reds here. Sox Gators wants to know how much we're, we're doing museum for. A box? Oh, Sox and Gators, the one thing we are doing, yeah, just like the manager just said, if we're, if, yeah, if we're gonna, if we're gonna sell individual boxes, we're doing, yeah, we're gonna do six boxes if we're gonna open the case or, you know, Picker like, my man Picker likes to do his, uh, like to do a whole case at a time, so. Uh, we'll, we'll be I'm gonna that. enter the teams in the spreadsheet, but let's see. Oh, the Orioles are sort of, that's surprising. A lot of teams are a lot of teams. Out. A lot of teams. Uh, I think the, Man, the Man H. It's UFC Museum, and the product is absolutely sick, and the cases that we have cracked have been nuts. So, we've hit monster monster cards. Um. So there are three there. autographs per, per box. Yeah. And we've pretty much hit everybody. Uh, we, we, we've pretty much gotten a hit on every on every fighter. Yeah, we could do that. A hit break, maybe. Like everyone gets a hit. Yeah. But to tell you guys, besides for because things have been changing on the card very rapidly for for two hundred seven tonight, uh, the besides for for the Ronda the Ronda fight and Dominic Cruz defending his bantamweight title fight, what happened for Fabricio Verdum and and uh, and Cain Velasquez is off the card, which was their other huge fight. So I I'm, I'm gonna have to look it up and, and go through the the other fights. If anyone wants a team, those are the teams that are left in the next in the next plate in the next break of national treasures. Well, Manny, we gotta be you know be be the uh, the 
the manager over here has a bunch of bets on Amanda Nunez. <laughs> so, and I have, uh, I have Rousey. Flaving the cases? Mm. Oh yeah, Dillashaw fights tonight too. TJ fights tonight. Manny, you want Ronda to win or you want Amanda Nunez to win? Yeah, I, I, I don't care either way. I just, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I hear you, Manny. I hear what you're saying, but uh, I, I have no issue against, uh, against either Amanda Nunez or, or Rousey. I just think Rousey wins tonight. That's all. That's just a prediction. And, and the big thing about it, guys, is, is the fact that it, it, what's awesome is, is that you will find... That's why UFC is awesome to bet, even though we don't like to talk about sports betting that much on this site. But she's minus 140, I think, right now, or 145. Is it? Yeah. And, the, and, and you, you can very often in UFC find lines that are way closer than they're supposed to be. I still, I still feel like they don't handicap that sport well. They probably don't. They really don't. Like... The Eddie Alvarez Conor McGregor fight, guys, in UFC. You're just saying because he won so much money. He was a tiny. No, he was a tiny favorite. He he was a huge. He was actually he should have been a, over three to one favorite to win that fight. He was minus one. I got him at minus one twenty five. He should have been minus three twenty five. So, ah, uh, that's I don't know. That's a good question, Cash Day. Right, Manny? That, that, that fight was ridiculous. The Conor McGregor-Eddie Alvarez fight. It was, it was ridiculous that he was such a small favorite. We're down to I'm a, so mad at myself. I didn't 11 know. teams left. The Kansas City Royals are officially off the board. Bob just took them. Bob, I'm not sure your username. Are you, are you around the bases? I'm not sure. But, uh, Bob... I, I, yeah, Mika, I'll do that in a second. I'll just have to do that right now, but Bob yeah. has the, or, the, the Royals. Tell him, man. Who, Bob, what's your username? I wrote it down somewhere. Manny, absolutely. I, oh, I, yeah, I agree right. with you. That is how they made a ton of money. Exactly. I think, Manny, I think that's part of the reason they do that. I think that's part of the reason they kept the line so close, is, is they were trying to throw people off to whether McGregor would win or not. And it put doubts in people's minds. But Sox Gators... You're absolutely right. Eddie Alvarez is is absolutely a great fighter, but the fact is, is it takes a specific. Yeah, they trick people, but it takes a specific type of fighter to get into the ring, and be able to compete with Conor McGregor. Not really just as much on a on a fighting level, but on a mental level as well. It literally takes somebody like a Nate Diaz, who literally just doesn't give a shit, who's literally like, I don't give a shit what shit you talk, how good you are. I'm just going to, like, I'm going to take everything you got, and I'm going to keep coming at you. And that's literally what it takes to beat somebody like, like McGregor. No one else is really going to do it. So, and that's why I loved Conor McGregor against Eddie Alvarez. I knew Conor was going to get into his head. And I knew the things that, that Eddie Alvarez liked to do was exactly what McGregor is great at fighting off. Um, you know, Eddie Alvarez loves getting you to the ground. He does. And getting Conor McGregor to the ground is almost as hard as getting John Jones to the ground. It, it, those two guys are amazing at it. So, yeah, Manny, Manny, I agree. The fight was over at the presser. So, thank you, Mika. Oh, Mika, did you did you get did you get? Yeah, Mika, if if you want a little little bit with the. Uh, with Scott, just ask him. Oh, you do? Yeah. Nice, Mika. Mika, I'm gonna come My, Mika, it's all of us against the manager. Thirty-three Barkley. Thank you, buddy. You got the Royals. Oh, that's. I'm sorry, Bob. Thank you. I I, I forgot your real name. Let me take a picture. We pulled the cut last case. Get out of here. We have eleven left. We're gonna hang out for a little. We'll, we'll, we'll do a giveaway. We'll do some fillers. Cause we, when you come out, we have to. Do, we haven't done a giveaway. Yeah. We're giving away teams, but we'll give away. We'll do a card or a pack. Yeah. Something. Abs but, absolutely. Uh, Royal. Thank you, uh, Bob. 
Man, Manny, Manny, I, I agree. I agree too. I would like to see an Aldo McGregor too. And the first fight was crap. I was really, uh, I wasn't a huge McGregor fan yet. Um, but uh, yeah, that first fight was was absolutely crap. Um, I've been following Jose Aldo since his the beginning of his of his career in WE, WEC, and I, I watched him dispatch of of every featherweight that came across his way and the guy was just a straight beast and to watch him go out like that was was uh, I was not happy about it so I, I'd love to see him get a rematch I don't know if it's going to happen because I don't know if it'll sell but Mika I'm sending you that picture right now socks socks and gators I, I I agree I just don't know if Woodley is 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 up to the mental challenge of fighting somebody like him so we'll see i don't know if he's seasoned enough we saw that that eddie alvarez was not seasoned enough in all terms of fighting of the mental edge of all of that stuff so some call micah i'm gonna call him on the phone mika <laughs> i don't know if it's a good idea getting mika's number mm. Well, are you t socks and gators? Are you talking Wonder Boy, as in, uh, as in our boy that just got uh, tapped out by Mickey Gall? Sage Northcutt? Are you talking about the Wonder Boy Sage Northcutt? Is that who you're talking about? Because Sage uh, unfortunately just got 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 choked out by uh, the CM Punk beater, Mickey Gall. Mickey Aces. Have you yeah, Sage is the Wonder Boy. Whatever. 